Hey, it's Holly. Today's video, I'm going back to the original compacts. I've been on a bit of a Polyville hot streak lately, mostly because I love the Polyville sets and I feel like I'm starting to kind of lean to being super Polyville partial. However, let's not forget how we got Polyville in the first place, which was the original compacts that came with the first Poly Pocket collection. So, Today, I am showing you the very cute set, one that I had as a child, the 1990 Fifi's Parisian Apartment. This is one of the flower shape compacts and it is such a treat. Not a ton of moving parts, not a ton of interactivity per se, but the detail and the colors in this one will speak for themselves. So I can't wait to show you around. Let's get started. Okay, today's set is the 1990 Fifi's Parisian Apartment Compact. Um, <laughs> this again is one that I had in my original childhood collection and just in case you're new here, uh, this is not actually the one I had as a child. By choice, as a teenager, I gave my entire poly collection to a neighborhood uh, other girl that was a lot younger than me. and. Um, as an adult, I'm just collecting them back because <laughs> we all make mistakes, don't we? Um, but I am trying to collect back not just the sets that I had as a child, but also just some of the ones that I really wanted as a kid. And along the way, um, maybe I'm accidentally getting a few more. So it's a slippery slope if we're being honest. I am so excited to have this one back in my life though, because this was one of the first four sets that I got. And if I can even think of them off the top of my head. This will be a miracle. Um, but it was Fifi's Prison Apartment, Midge's Flower Shop, Midge's Play School, and the other one was Polly in the Nursery. Um, so of those three or four sets, I should say, I have this one and Polly in the Nursery that are complete. I do have Midge's Play School, but it's not complete. And I currently do not have Midge's Flower Shop. Um, so still on the hunt to complete those sets. But this was one that actually was not mine, if <laughs> uh, to tell you the truth. Um, it was gifted to my sister, but my sister was maybe just like a little bit too old for them when we got them. So they almost immediately became mine. So really nostalgic for this one because it was one of the first sort of um, <laughs> gateway poly sets that led to the larger collection and you're going to see why when I open this up. I will say this is a very basic set. It is not super fancy. It is not, um, you know, lots of moving parts or anything, but I love this because it's beautiful and it is that sort of classic original poly pocket that launched the line. All right, so let's open it up. So here it is, Fifi's Parisian apartment. This is meant to look just like, well, like it says, a Parisian apartment, but just the sort of the amazing opulence of Paris, you know? Everything is so ornate. Um, everything looks so crisp and clean and just fancy. Um, but that sort of classic Paris look that we often think of when we think of Paris. So uh, in typical Holly fashion, I'm going to go from top to bottom and explain it as best I can with my knowledge of this set. But um, I did love this one as a child because it just seemed so fancy. All right, so I believe that this is her outside uh, of her apartment. Um, if you have ever looked at a sort of just any photos of Paris, there's lots of narrow streets with apartment buildings that have, you know, a few floors. They've got balconies off them. They're all quite ornate and they would look something like this. So I believe this is supposed to be sort of like her front door, if you will. So we don't actually see, in my opinion, her apartment whatsoever. 
this would just be sort of the the outdoor <laughs> section of her apartment complex. Um, hopefully that makes sense. So uh, beautiful light blue doors, this crisp white trim all along the front facade of the building. These doors don't open, it just is what it is. And um, this set, while it is quite simple in its design, it does have a lot of beautiful colors that a lot of the sets just don't have um, of this era. If you watched, I want to say it was my 1989 beach house set where I showed two variants. That was one of my first videos, I believe. Um, I showed both variants of that compact and they had really limited color palette. So there is a lot of color and detail going on in this and this is only a year later. So see some really amazing progress in these sets. So again, just beautiful entryway here. Moving up top, you can see there are some sort of decorative pots up here beautiful plants on the side and this really beautiful ornate balcony. You can actually put stuff in there. Um, doesn't really do anything, but it is there. And then in the back on a sticker, there is the Eiffel Tower. Um, that would be an amazing view. I don't know really how that's supposed to work if you're going in here, maybe this is the door. I have no idea. This doesn't really make much sense when you start to think about it too much. We're just going to ignore that and appreciate the view. Love it. All right, moving down here, some steps into what I believe to be the courtyard for the apartment complex. Um, if you have not been to Paris, you may not understand some of this stuff upon first glance. And as a child, I definitely did not, but there are some very, uh, Parisian details going on. Specifically, what I'm referring to is this. Um, not sure if you can read that on camera, but this says Metro, and this is what a Metro station kind of would look like. So this would be the entrance to go down the stairs into the Paris subway system. So that is what that is. So I believe this is kind of supposed to be like street level, sort of the courtyard, but wow, she's got a Metro station right at her apartment. How convenient is that? Um, so <laughs> that's what that is. I never knew what that was as a kid. And I was always like, what the, what, what is that? Um, lovely textures in this compact. And there is this beautiful sort of pastel pebbling sidewalk along the whole bottom of the set. On the side, there appears to be a beautiful outdoor table where she can have tea or lunch and a dog house. What's that for? We will find out in a moment. As well as a rocking chair where she can sit and rock. So that does move. That is the one moving piece. Over on the side, a beautiful little fountain and a statue. And the statue is not super detailed, but focus, there we go. Looks like an angel. Very cute. So what's the dog house about? <laughs> Let's talk about the figures that came with this set. So a complete set includes, of course, Fifi. This is a set that does not include a Polly. It comes with Fifi as the character and Fifi um, is wearing a very beautiful outfit. She has this lovely floral hat on with a matching dress. She just looks like she is very fashionable. She has these beautiful sort of lavender shoes on her feet and she has a little green clutch in her hand. So cute. Um, she's in pretty good condition, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, this was one that when you go to try to find them, sometimes it's hard to find these ones in good condition. Fifi seems to be plentiful, her, specifically this figure, but the other two figures, not so much. So the other two figures in the sets are her dogs. So she has two poodles. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember which one's which, but one is named Henri and the other one is Henrietta or Henry and Henrietta. And uh, they are two beautiful, look how beautifully they're groomed poodles. The reason that these are hard to find in good condition is because the tail is really thin and I think that it's probably super easy for it to break off. But these ones, fortunately for me, I was able to get one. Um, 
I, I've only been collecting these for a few months, but I will say, um, I don't have a very good memory. Um, <laughs> I'm very bad at remembering details. So uh, I can't remember, but I want to say that this probably came in that super big haul video I did uh, where I opened 35 that came in one lot that I purchased from Germany. I believe that's where this came from. Um, but I would have to go back and look at that video to know for sure. But uh, these are the two dogs. Now they do have um, standard poly dog sort of bases. However, there isn't really anywhere to put them in the set. So you'll notice there's no place to kind of clip them in. There's a few spots, uh, specifically there are three spots that you could actually put Fifi. But aside from that, there is nothing that you can really clip the dog into. However, they can hang out in the dog house. At least I think that's the dog house. Hopefully I am not misinterpreting that. Um, but you can put them in there and they can hang out in the dog house. So aside from that, the only other action piece is really, she's got a rocking chair so she can hang out in the rocking chair. It appears that there are um, some balls on the ground and I don't know if that's supposed to be like croquet or like a bocce ball set, but some kind of stuff going on there. Other than that, that's really about it. It's not a super complicated set by any means, but it's cute. It's unique. There aren't too many that are sort of a very specific aesthetic like this. The other one that I can think of is Suki's Japanese Tea House, which I do have, and I should show you that one actually. Um, that one is done in a Japanese tea house aesthetic, as you probably could have guessed, because that's what it's called. Um, but, you know, therefore has a very Japanese look to it. This one has a very Parisian look to it um, by definition. So there were a few that were a little bit sort of outside the typical poly aesthetic, but this one is so adorable and I am so excited to have it back in my life. So that is Fifi's Parisian apartment. I hope you enjoyed checking that one out with me. All right, what did you like about this set? My favorite part, I think I think now as an adult, now that I've been to Paris and I kind of understand the set a bit better, I think that the metro station detail is actually quite cute. Um, however, I do keep coming back to those poodles. There were no other sort of pets that I had in my original collection that were that cute, so they were always my favorite. I also do love the balcony with the view of the Eiffel Tower. Super cute detail. Um, but the set just in general, I think my favorite thing about the set is that it's so colorful and especially for the original poly compacts, I think that's quite special. So let me know in the comments what was your favorite part of this compact. Thank you again for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button if you can. It really helps out. And don't forget to like the video too. If you're on Instagram, come follow me over at Pocket Vintage Toys where <laughs> all my behind the scenes stuff as I get new sets in the mail. If I screw up on my YouTube videos and I have to go back and show you something that I missed, it's all over there. So come over and chat with me over on Instagram at Pocket Vintage Toys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.